Please like the video, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Normal Reddit is that dated a celebrity, what was it like? Rosario Dawson liked two of my tweets once, so you could say it was getting pretty serious. Just drop out already, Senator Booker. Can someone explain this to me? It's about Cory Booker right? Yes, Senator Cory Booker, who is a presidential candidate, is dating Rosario Dawson currently. He's also not doing great in the polls, and will most likely be unqualified for the next debate. My mom had a dinner date with George Clooney in the 90s. She didn't really say much apart from the fact that he's an interesting and charismatic guy, but she honestly didn't think he was going to blow up. My best friend's mom worked with him years ago, their early 20s or college age Aish. He was a shoe salesman, she was security. Said he talked about wanting to act and get famous and everyone doubted him, but he was always nice to everyone, and a likable guy. Said he always talked about wanting to act and get famous and everyone doubted him, but he was always nice to everyone, and a likable guy. My wife and I took ballroom dancing lessons many years ago. The teachers, a married couple, said that in the 80s late 70s, they lived next door, or possibly a couple doors down, from Keanu Reeves, who was just a young boy at the time. Said he came over often, to play with their son and often ate at their place. The lady said, that he always said he was going to get into acting and become famous, and they would say oh, okay, that's nice dear lol. Not a date. Paresi, but I had a nice quiet dinner with Samantha Fox in her hotel room in Toronto in the 80s. She was in town for a show, and I was attached to her security detail. She asked me to eat with her, because she didn't want to go out, but hated eating alone. Sweet girl, kinda sad too. Lonely. Edit, well that blew up. I don't remember a lot of details, what we ate etc, but I do remember we talked about her growing up in the UK, and being still amazed at her success. I do remember she said she looked forward to seeing the world on tour, but apparently the world all looked like the same hotel room. She never got to just explore and play tourist. Wow, she seemed like the sexiest women alive to me, when I was young in the 80s. Same here. First boobs I saw, circa 1987. Angry mother noises. A family friend's mom went clubbing with Lady Gaga. Afterwards, Gaga asked if she knew who she was. Friend's mom had no idea. This is my favorite one so far. It's endearing to think of someone hanging out with Lady Gaga and having zero clue who she is. How did she end up clubbing with Lady Gaga? Was this a long time ago? Were they not being mobbed by people? Just trying to imagine the circumstances that led to this, and can't. Reminds me of my best friend's dad. He was volunteering at a local festival slash concert many years ago, and in search of a bathroom he wandered into the backstage area. At that time, Velvet Revolver was a thing, and they were the show's headliners. So my friend's dad ends up back there, and the band is slowly getting ready for, when it's time for their set. Friend's dad asks Slash, where the bathroom is, and Slash points it out. Friend's dad takes a piss then comes back, and smokes a cigarette, while making small talk with Slash, then heads back. Had no idea who he was hanging out with. Celebrities probably enjoy having a conversation with someone who has no idea who they are, and treats them like a normal person. Back when they were still a small bar band, my mother had drinks with the cult. The lead singer had told her he was in a band, but she didn't believe him. So when they played Wildflower that night, he dedicated the song to her. Dude that's awesome I love the cult. Yes, all glory to the cult, the leader calls us to our award. I've been involved in several cults, both as a leader and a follower. You make more money as a leader, but you have more fun as a follower. My aunt lived down the street from Leonardo DiCaprio, when she was a kid. He was her first kiss, she was 12, he was 13, it was behind the school gym. Apparently he was a really nice kid. She moved away, before he started landing roles, totally lost touch. 
Imagine trying to get with this girl, then you find out that her last guy was Leonardo DiCaprio. L. Her first guy too. The pressure is too much. My aunt went on a date with Jimmy Buffett. She said he picked her up, stopped at a gas station, bought a jar of pickles, and then drove to the beach. They ate pickles, and he took her home. Little did she know he went on many dates like this slowly eating each of the components of a cheeseburger on each subsequent date. All you can eat burger ingredients. A burger buffet if you will. My aunt kissed Gordon a lightfoot in a bathroom at one of his concerts. I'm guessing there was probably more, but she didn't elaborate. She probably went down like the Edmund Fitzgerald. Edit. Thanks for the awards. Glad I could give so many a chuckle. She took a load, but it sure wasn't iron ore. There was a bone to be chewed. The gales of November came early, but God didn't. My friend's aunt went on a blind date with Jared Butler, circa 300, the movie, not the year. There was a big miscommunication, because he was looking for a hookup, and she's a kindly French-Canadian woman in her 50s, but they both had a laugh about it, and enjoyed supper with each other. She said he was very kind, and very muscular. So what the fuck happened? Did he clap cheeks or not? Who would say no to Leonidas? I mean just look at those iron buns in 300. R. Kelly asked me out on a date in the mid-90s. I declined because I had a boyfriend at the time. Besides, I was too old for him lol. So you were, what, 18 years old? I was actually 21, and working retail at the Beverly Center. Back then it was a pretty popular shopping center for celebrities and musicians. Cool, I was just making a joke, that being 18 would have been too old for R. Kelly. I have a family friend who dated Daniel Radcliffe. I was 7 at the time they dated, and a huge Harry Potter fan. I don't remember much aside from the fact that he was a really sweet guy. On my 8th birthday, my family friend told Daniel it was my birthday and he texted me a personal happy birthday message despite never having met me. Absolutely made it the best birthday ever. Edit, you are all asking why I had a phone at 8 years old to clarify, Daniel texted from my family friend's phone to my mom's phone, and sadly, I don't still have the message, as my mom's messages were deleted when she got a new phone. I know it sounds unbelievable, but it's true I swear on Reddit. He's probably one of the only celebrities that seem really nice. Every interview I've seen of him leads me to think he just loves his life. Like, he's grateful to be where he is, and just wants to enjoy the ride. Seems super cool. See also, Rupert Grint and his ice cream truck.